Giant voice, baby. Get to your phones, baby. The Giant Voice Radio Show. Live for the next hour and a half. Check us out. 347-426-3972. Get us a call. Only on blogtalkradio.com. Brought to you. Only by that most honest talk in New Jersey. Let's hit it. Light up the switchboard, everyone. Let's hear you. Great topic today. Great show. We're live right now. So 1.30. So give me a call. Got a lot to talk about here. online, back on the air, the Italian Voice Radio Show, baby. All right, this is also getting taped directly to YouTube, uh, so we can share it on um, my group and on my Facebook. So give us a call, give me a call rather. Three four seven four two six three nine seven two. Today's a good show. Um, I wanted to put a show together today because of the fact that. Um, <sighs> it's about like when people don't um, you're friends with somebody and they don't teach they don't treat they treat you well and you're close and all this other jazz and then um, <laughs> you know they just ditch you like you weren't even anything uh, like you weren't even a part of their life for years and um, you know then you try to call them up and they avoid to that. Like they don't even care. Uh, so give us a call on the Italian Voice 347 426 3972. Let's get this show on the road. We're taking calls till 1 30. We're on the line. We're live. Um, and we're going to be doing this show um, frequently, maybe during the day. I think I think it's better that way. Um, freeze up my nights. I can relax. <laughs> I don't have to worry about. Um, you know, doing all this at night, but I mean, it's better during the day. Sometimes people have a chance to give us a call and to be online and um, to get out over the air throughout the whole world. Uh, we're, the show's growing. We've got like uh, 5,175 listeners as of now. Um, we're trying to bring it up to at least 6,000 probably by the end of the year probably have uh, 6,000, I'm hoping. I mean, the show does grow. I mean, it, there is a lot of people that do listen to this either at live uh, and or into the um, archives. And it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, I mean, you know. But what I'm saying is um, uh, what the show is about today is, is, you know, I was friends with this person for, I'm not going to mention no names because it's not correct. Um, you know, I was friends with this individual for um, years. I mean, and now, like, she just, uh, like, last week or two weeks ago, whatever it was, um, totally just threw me off the bus, deleted me off Facebook, and I try to call this person up, and she don't answer. Um, like, I'm a total piece of shit, and... Uh, I had to get a show going, be, you know why, because um, it, it's just, um, it really pisses me off. I, I mean, you're friends with somebody for so long, and, you know, and then they just throw you, you know, they don't even care. You know, I was, I know people that I haven't even met yet, excuse me, that I know on Facebook, uh, that I'm going to be making um, a movie with that have more, that I can trust more. And that are more respectful to, um, you know, to me. And, you know, I understand maybe if it's sometimes people don't, you know, 
they can't be bothered or they, they don't want to be bothered or, or whatever the case is. Um, it's understandable on Facebook, I'm saying. But, um, but then they try to um, ignore you, not even call you on the phone to tell you, hey, I'm, you know, whatever the situation is. Um, it, it's, it's totally, um, pisses me off. It, it really does. And I'm wondering why people do it to me. Um, you know, I'm not really that bad of a person, I think. I don't know. Am I that bad? Um, if anybody wants to call into the contrary, give me a call, 347-426-3972, and let me know and um, what you think that is the right etiquette here. Um, I understand that Facebook does delete people off, off your friends list for some stupid reason. I don't know why they do that. Um, why that would even be a, a you know, a, um, an action on their part, um, whatever the case may be. But, um, you know, if that's the case, why the hell can't somebody just call you if you're friends? I mean, I, I listen, <clears throat> it's not that I don't understand and I don't look at it like, you know, people were um, not busy or they don't have stuff going on, you know, but it is one thing that, you know, if you're friends with somebody, the proper etiquette is to get in touch with them once in a while, to keep in touch, to let them um, know that, okay, I'm not dead or I'm not uh, stuck in a, in a closet somewhere or locked in a closet or handcuffed to a radiator, um, you know, in the middle of the Bronx. I mean, <laughs> There's one thing that I understand how people are, and it, it, what pisses me off is that it's just a total being totally ignored, like like I was never nothing to anybody, and you know it, it pisses me off because maybe it's the way I was brought up, maybe it's the way that um, people, um, you know, other people have their their mindset on doing stupid shit. Um, <coughs> It, it just pisses me off, and, you know, um, if anybody wants to call in, give me a call, because, you know, I, I'd like to know what other people think, and how this other, how this is, uh, you know, could I be wrong, could, uh, you know, um, maybe I am wrong, maybe I'm thinking over and taking it to the heart too much, but you know what, when you take, if, if you don't take stuff to the heart, and you keep thinking that everything's okay, then that's when you get you get trampled on and you get stepped over, and you know people look at you like, you know, like you're not even not, like you're only there to their benefit, um, on their benefit of when they're free, um, you know, like oh, all right, I'll call Dominic now, I'll call Dominic today, I'll call him right now, um, oh no, I can't, I'll call him next week. And then next week comes and you don't call, and, and they don't call you. And, you know, maybe it's me. I'm 43 years old. I'm going to be 44, actually, in a month and a day from today. And um, so I'm getting old. But um, <laughs> but still, I, I mean, you know, as adults, that, that's how you actually hold your friendship down. I mean, you know, we all have opportun I mean, um, obligations, and we all have stuff to do, but... You know what, when when people don't treat you the right way, then they call you a fucking month later and say, oh, well, you know, I had to go do this, and I was busy, and I was painting, and I was, you know, I had, uh, my feet were up on, uh, on the table, and I couldn't move, or I was in bed because, you know, uh, it was raining out, I couldn't call anybody because I'm afraid of the rain coming through the phone. I mean, this stupidest ignorance of excuses that don't even match up to any type of uh, intelligence, it, it's, it's just, it's sick. Yeah, you know, I mean, um, what kind of people do this? Uh, I mean, you know, I got, I'm such a great person to people, and I, I'm friends with everybody. Everybody loves me because I'm a great guy. I came over the hurdles of being um, friggin' drinking constantly like an idiot for 25 years of my life. I actually became sober three years ago to August 3rd of this month. I'm treating, you know, I make friends because it's a part of me now. And, you know, it's a part of me that I didn't know for fucking 25 years. And now that obviously 
you know, that shit came out of the woodwork. And now look at me. I'm making movies. I'm going to make my own movie. I was in four other movies. Um, you know, I got my own radio show still going a year. Um, and I'm making friends hand over fist here and doing just everything to um, do that I should have been doing years ago. But I was bombarded by alcoholism. And now I'm, you know, doing what is expected of me. You know, um, God gave me a gift and I'm using it. And, you know, if people can't respect that, then I don't know what to tell you. Um, I, I really don't. Uh, I'm, you know, I, I mean, it just pisses me off when people try to be, um, you know, friends with you. And, you know, then they just throw you under the bus and then they'll call you back and say, like a month later or whatever, and they'll call you back and say, oh, well, you know what? Um, I had to go and do this and, you know, my boyfriend didn't want me to use the phone because, uh, you know, it's Monday or and then, um, you know, he said I can use it on um, when he's not home. But then once he comes home, I can't use the phone. Um, I can't use Facebook. He told me to um, he told me to uh, delete my Facebook. So I had to listen. What? Are you kidding me? That's a relationship. I'd be damned. I'll tell you right now. I'd be fucking damned if somebody was coming to my house and tell me not to do something. That's just totally out of the books. Don't even look at that chapter because it's not even in there. That will never happen. Okay? Ever come to me and tell me, give me fucking orders, bark orders at me, you're out of your mind. It's totally out of the blue. And it's, it's you know what? It, it pisses, it gets underneath my skin till I, my blood pressure boils. I, I'm never going to ever have that happen. If you're going to have to, yeah, I don't, and you know what, people think, oh, he pays the bills, he does this, he does that. So what? That's all. All America does that. Doesn't make anybody any better or any different than anybody else, okay? I've been through the mill. I've been through hard times in my life. And you know what, I'm just about coming out now to say, you know, I'm a better person to everybody. And it's obvious. Um I don't know. Maybe it's me. Maybe I take things to heart too much. But you know what? Too damn bad. Because you know what? It's time that people need to smarten up a little bit and get their priorities straight and say, you know what? Maybe I should, uh, you know, be friendly to this guy because he's he's going to be big one day and he's going to be famous and he's going to be doing this. He's going to be making more movies. And, you know, it'd be nice to have somebody like that in my life. You don't want to be in my life. It's not my problem. You know what I mean? It's really not my problem. I can care less what people think. You know what I'm saying? What matters is what I think and what my family thinks. Because it's the togetherness of me and my family is the most important over anybody. I don't care what anybody thinks. Okay? And I'll tell you right now, my family's been there for me when I was drinking. And now that I made a promise to my family, uh, three years ago, I would never, ever come anywhere close to alcohol again, ever. Because it's not even just my family. It's just me and the guilt that would kill me. And, you know, the guilt would break me down instantaneously. Taking that one sip would just ruin my whole life. But I would never do that. So I just want my listeners and my people to know. And, you know, I would never even go close to um, having, um, you know, any alcohol more or more alcohol in my life. Um, I'm glad that way. I'm glad the situation, you know, obviously people have bills and they, you know, have problems with bills and everything. That's understandable. You know, so do I. <laughs> Believe me. Um, my phone don't stop ringing. Um, but, you know, the mailbox is always open, unfortunately. And there's just you know, bill fairies just throwing bills in there like it's fucking crazy. It's just totally outrageous. Uh, but, you know what, it, there's one thing that I've learned. Uh, you got to be nice to people. You know what I'm saying? I argue with people sometimes because of my temper. And I'm Italian, obviously. I'm an Italian voice radio show, baby. I mean, come on. Uh, 100% not believe on. And, uh, you know what, it, sometimes people just annoy me so much that I, I can't... I, it, I have a very short view sometimes. Um, 
But I don't let that interfere with a friendship because that's just not right. It's just not the right thing to do. It's just not the right thing to have to treat people like that. Um, you know, maybe it's, um, you know, maybe there's a problem. I don't know. But, I mean, am, am I a fan of a person that I'm not supposed to know? After all these years of friendship, it's just thrown down the fucking, down the tubes. I mean, really, give me a break. You know, it pisses me off because when people do shit like that without any explanation, then you know, obviously, that they're wrong. Okay? And they know they're wrong. And that they don't have, they can't even give you an uh, explanation of why they do what they do. Um, it's just pure ignorance. It, it really is. Um uh, Oh, I'll do this for you. Oh, I can't come over today. We can't go out. I can't do this. I can't do that. Uh, you know, I'm I'm stuck in a, uh, you know, I, I can't really come over today because, I, you know, the sun's out. Or, <laughs> you know what I mean? <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I don't know. You know, but then the, then the funny part is, is when, The person realizes what they did and that they're, they're wrong about the point, uh, the contrary of just screwing you over, um, then they don't know what to do. But then it's too late. I'm sorry. It's not going to happen. Uh, so give us a call, 347-426-3972. I'm going to give you a, get you on the air here. <clears throat> We're going to take our first break here, and we'll be right back with the Italian Voice Radio Show with your host, Tom Calvino. <laughs> So we're back. Take a little breather here. Um, we're back on the Italian Voice, uh, only on blocktalkradio.com. Give us a call, 347-426-3972. Um, this is getting directly recorded to YouTube, so I'm going to be able to share this episode. Um, I think it's better um, to do it this way also, with the you know, because it gets recorded, obviously, and it can share the episode. But I can also share the, um, the video so you guys can see me. Uh, with my um, trusty, awesome um, web uh, cam, and uh, it gets directly, um, and I'm directly um, into block talk. No, no more of this shit. Sitting here like this, um, which was a pain in the neck. Um, it's just uncomfortable after a while, you know. But I'm directly uh, into um, direct connect into. Um, What's it called? Into um, YouTube and um, also Block Talk. I'm just going to make an announcement. Um, next Tuesday night, I'm going to be having a um, a new uh, co-host joining the show, the Italian Voice joining the show. Um, my buddy Anthony of mine is going to be joining the show on um, what's it called? Next Tuesday. Anthony Francis is going to be joining the Italian Voice as a uh, co-host of mine. And uh, we might hook up at the, at the Corleone compound and do a, um, a live web show. Um, 
It depends. We'll see what happens. If that's going to, if that, you know, we'll do the show together here at the Corleone compound. And um, hopefully that, you know, we'll be able to get some, um, you know, we'll videotape it onto YouTube, obviously. And, uh, you know, we'll see how things work out. I think it's a good idea. Uh, but we're, you know, just want to have that, give that out to everybody that we're going to have a new uh, co-host on the Italian Voice. And it sounds like it's a good idea because he's really into it. It was actually his idea. So I'm thinking that, um, you know, the Italian Voice is going to, uh, you know, uh, appreciate it because I do need a co-host. It's hard to talk to yourself uh, for an hour, hour and a half or whatever the, the length of the show is. Uh, today's an hour and a half. I'm going to be on the show till 11, uh, 1.30. And um, if anybody wants to call in, give me a call, 347-426-3972 on the Italian Voice. We're talking about how friends just get rid of you. Um, without any explanation why they would do it, uh, why they do it in the first place, why people have to um, not really have any kind of, you know, knowledge of how strong a friendship is. And um, you just don't do that. Um, that's actually just playing with people's emotions, actually. Um, it, it don't seem like it's it don't seem like it's really um, the right thing to do. I mean, you know what? It, but people are a little um, screwed up in the head, I guess. And once they do realize what they did, it's it's just too late. It's I don't want to hear it after. I just don't want to hear it because I'm not a, a jerk. I'm going to sit here and wait by the phone like a freaking hawk and and you know pray it that person calls. It, it doesn't work that way. I'm totally sorry, but you know, there's there's way too much in my life going on that I that I I can't just throw out. And you know what? It, it's not going to happen that way. And um, you know, whatever. And I also <laughs> let me make another announcement. Um, I also have, you can check it out in, um, you can check this, this um, campaign I have running right now. It's a um, running away from the unknown t-shirt campaign. Um, it actually ends today, tonight actually, but I'm running it for my movie, Running Away from the Unknown. Um, you can check that out in Dom Cal Productions, and you can also check it out on teespring.com slash running away from the unknown. Um, it's only $17. I'm going to rerun the campaign to the, to, tonight, um, so it goes for another two weeks with the same shirt. Um, so, you know, all the um, contributions go to the movie, um, you know, and, you know, it, it tries to help us out a lot. Uh, so I'm going to just keep rerunning re it till we get on set and, you know, until we get, you know, a couple bucks in there. There was already four sold. Um, my friend from C, my friend John Battisti actually bought three um, yesterday. And um, it, he's got, well, actually, I'm, I'm sorry, he bought four. He bought one from the previous campaign. And he bought, um, that's got, that's hanging in his store at CJ's Snack Shack in Nutley at 386 Franklin Avenue in Nutley, New Jersey. Um, you can go there and check it out. He's got everything in there. You can have lunch, uh, breakfast. He's got the lottery. He's got a whole bunch of stuff. Great coffee. Um, and it's a nice, comfortable place. Um, so take a look at that down there. Uh, CJ's Snack Shack, 386 Franklin Avenue in Nutley, New Jersey. Um, it's uh, adjacent to ShopRite on Franklin Avenue um, in Nutley. So you can get, take that, you know, check that out. And he's got, um, he bought three shirts from this campaign that's running right now. And um, he's going to, um, you know, we're going to, we're going to try to sell some more uh, shirts. And I also have um, a Toxic Avenger poster that I have for sale. <coughs> Excuse me. That's um, autographed by me with Skippy in the movie, in Toxic Avenger, and the famous um, head crushing scene. Um, I got hit by a car. I got my head crushed. 
<laughs> the most memorable scene, though. Um, it's the most memorable scene in the movie. Um, it's talked about worldwide. Um, I'm selling a poster that was autographed by me, by Lloyd Kaufman, which is the creator, and Michael Hurst, which is uh, the, the director and the producer of the movie. So I'm selling that for $155. And I also have an autographed um, Sig Avenger um, VHS that I autographed with my name and my and Skippy on it. That's from selling for $45. Uh, I have PayPal, so you can, if we talk, hit me up on Facebook at Dominic Calvito. I'll accept you. And we could, um, you know, get that to you. Free shipping. Uh, well, the shipping's included in the price. Um, so give us a call. Uh, I can talk about that more. 347 426 three nine seven two and um, I have a lot of stuff like you, you can see the poster behind me uh, right there that's the one I'm talking about that's for sale it's 155 dollars uh, with the uh, three autographs on it with Lloyd Kaufman, Michael Hurz and myself you can check it out uh, I can ship that to you the 155 dollars includes shipping and um, like I said I'll show you this again this is a uh, Toxic Avenger VHS director's cut. It's got the famous head crushing scene. Um, yeah, it's a great movie. Um, I was in it. It took a, a long time to film this. Uh, this is $45. I'm trying to get rid of it. And it's uh, for sale autographed. So give me a call. 347-426-3972. Uh, we'll get that out to you. Uh, no matter where you live, we'll um, like to... Um, help our listeners out um, and get things uh, if you're a big Toxic Avenger fan I mean the movie's a cult classic um, by Troma and it's funny because uh, I made this movie 30 years ago and um, I'm actually going to uh, be filming a mo my movie Running Away from the Unknown and Lloyd Kaufman which is the creator of the Toxic Avenger um, back in 1983 it was filmed and was released in 1984 is playing a part in my movie that I wrote um, and Derek Young uh, was a co-write and also was Eugene Johnson another co-write um, for Running Away From The Unknown and Lloyd plays Gino that's all I can say about the movie um, you know based on scenes and everything but that's going to be a um, it's going to be fun so yeah if you want anybody wants to purchase this just hit me up on Facebook and we'll um, get it out to you shipping. Um, let me know the information. I said I have PayPal, so you can make the payment right there. We can talk the um, details over Facebook um, that you may need to make the payment and your address and everything, and we'll get that sh shipped right out to you. Um, along with um, the um, pretty, you know, big, awesome uh, autograph Toxic Avenger poster, um, you know, for people that collect this type of stuff um, it's actually awesome um, yeah so get to your calls uh, let's get some callers in here on switchboard 347-426-3972 on the Italian Voice Radio Show um, we're on until 1.30 it's um, we actually got an hour left so give us a call excuse me I'd like to get some uh, callers in here and see what's going on because there is a lot of um, you know a lot going on. We're going to be throwing another um, campaign up, an Indiegogo campaign for um, my movie, for the Italian Voice Radio Show. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, for um, <laughs> running away from the unknown. Um, that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, we're just waiting to get it, um, to make it go live. And we're going to try to get a, um, you know, some more contributions. I mean, there is perks. Um, there's perks out there. We're going to be filming in Troma in um, September. We're just waiting on the, uh, we're working logistically, um, logistic, logistically, um, logistic, yeah, we're working it out. <laughs> yeah, we're working it out. We just got to wait for a date. The logistics are crazy for the past year that we've been putting this project together. Um, it's a lot of work, and it's, um, you know, I never, I never did this before. Um, I actually uh, been in movies, obviously, um, but it's just it's just a lot of work, 
And but I tell you what keeps me busy, keeps my my mind focused on positivity, and I wouldn't do anything else right now. I mean, I really don't even think about anything else except my movie and doing stuff that's positive for my movie. And um, you know, it, it's it's just a great um, feeling to do what I'm doing. Uh, to wake up in the morning and know that I got this working for me and, um, you know, knowing that I have people behind me that are actually helping me out as best they can and um, they're doing an excellent job. Um, every single person that's involved is involved more than just being there and, you know, and sitting back waiting. Everybody's got a little bit of a, you know, everybody in the cast and crew has a little bit of a um, responsibility to take care of this and that. Um, and they do when they report back to me or my agent, Derek Young. Um, so everything is, uh, you know, it, it's good because, you know, when you have something like this going on, it, it's, it's a great feeling that you have the people that you have. And, um, you know, um, there's not really more I can say about this because it's, you know, I don't, I can't give out information, but, you know, talking like off the subject is just that it's a great feeling in the world, uh, the best feeling in the world that I have, what I have right now. And um, I got great people behind me. Every single person behind me is, I never thought that I'd have these people, you know, involved. Um, you know, but like I said, like I, like I said, and like I will always say, that when I was drinking, God was planning this already. And um, this was all being planned and it was all ready for me. It was just a matter of me, you know, quitting drinking. And um, once I did and once I was ready, everything started coming out of the woodwork. Everything started to, to uh, materialize and um, really become a reality which my dreams for 30 years was to become an actor. And, you know, uh, I'm not making any money right now, but who cares? Because you know what? You have to keep focused. You've got to keep going. You know what? As much as I would love to be making excellent money right now, doing what I'm doing, you know, sometimes you got to bite the bullet. And you've just got to look towards the future and know that you have, you know, you've got to look, you've got to keep your head open and your mind open and you've got to just keep doing it as best you can because one day it will pay off. Hard work does pay off. You know, hard work and positivity, you know, you've got to give out more positivity to the universe. You're going to get just as much back or more. Um, and that's been happening. So, you know, it's a great feeling that I have who I have behind me. Um, the Don Cow Productions and Young Productions and um, we're going to make this happen. And, you know, we got more rewards after this movie is released. And we're going to do more. I'm going to write a book about them. It's going to be, uh, it's going to pertain to the movie. And all the people that are involved in the movie are going to write themselves, um, you know, how we met from the beginning to the end. And, you know, how they got on, um, involved with the movie. How their experiences were on, on set. Um, how it was filming the movie afterwards. Everything is going to be involved in, in the book. Um, and it's going to be, uh, I'm thinking about um, how it all began is thinking um, of the title. Um, you know, that's an excellent idea. Excuse me. And um, I'm thinking that, that that's just a great idea to do, um, you know, and keeping um, that going for whatever, you know, then that, have that working for me for the next movie. Um, you know, everything is going to snowball because I want everything to be, I want to be at the top of the pyramid. Um, and, you know, that's the way my life is being planned and the way God planned everything already and the way it is um, already um, formatted for me. And I'm, 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 you know, I'm honored. And, and like uh, the topic of the show today is if people don't want to be, you know, involved in what, what, what I'm doing, you know, I always try to help somebody out and try to do what I can for people. And, you know, if you don't want to talk about it, you don't want to be involved because it's some maybe, maybe you're jealous 
maybe you think that maybe you know you never thought of you never see me doing never pictured me doing great and being sober and having what I have then that's not my problem you know that's your problem you're the one that's thinking that not me I'm thinking that I'm going to be moving forward and, and keep going and all this jazz and everything but you know what I try my best that's all I can do and if you can't understand that then you know then um, oh boy I don't know what to tell you so we're going to take a break here and we'll be right back on the Italian voice with your host Stop Calvito with the most honest talk in New Jersey only on blocktalkradio.com <laughs> Voice radio show uh, 347-426-3972 is the big um, phone number here to uh, give me a call get live on the air um, and also to hear yourself on uh, uh, YouTube um, yeah we're gonna be uh, we got like uh, 51 minutes left to the broadcast is over uh, we're gonna be on until um, 1 30 so Let's um, get some callers in here, man. Come on. Let's go. 347-426-3972. Make sure that you, if you do call in, that you uh, press 1. So I know that you want, you're not just listening in and you want to get on the air. That gives me a prompt, and I can um, get you on the air at 347-426-3972. If you're listening in, I appreciate it. Um, you know, if you want to call in and give me a call, you know, um, the lines are open. I'm taking calls to 1:30, so make sure that you, um, you know, call in because it's, uh, you know, it's Thursday. I just want to mention something that the last show I did um, was, I believe, this past Tuesday, and I was um, under the impression, for some reason, I don't know why. I guess I just have so much going on in my head. And it's funny because there's a calendar right in front of me, um, <laughs> and I can look on my on the date and see what day it is, uh, you know. But I was under the impression that it was Monday, and all the listeners were probably like, "What the hell is this guy talking about?" But that's that's what happened. It kind of cracked me up when I was listening to it back. And well, actually, when I was doing the show, I realized that it was Tuesday, and uh, it was under. Yeah, I was I thought it was Monday the whole like three quarters of the show. I was like, yeah, it's Monday morning. It was friggin' Tuesday. <laughs> but it was cool because, you know, that's a part of the show. you got to have fun. You know what I'm saying? I had a laugh. You know, you got to laugh at shit like that. Um, so we're going to um, hopefully get some callers in here. I know 
three four seven four two six three nine seven two. Um, how about all this shit that's going on? How about that big fire on uh, the New Jersey Turnpike uh, northbound last night? Wow, that was sick, man. There's videos servicing um, all over Facebook um, and the web about that. That was crazy, man. My brother was coming home from work, and he was stuck on the turnpike. And um, I don't know how long, um, for a while, because I was watching the videos, actually seen it on the news also, that the, 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 um, the thing was just blowing up like it had friggin' um, like it was fireworks. Um, what I don't understand is why didn't they shut down the whole turnpike um, for safety precautions. Um, I was watching the videos and it was just uh, people just driving by like it was nothing, like there was nothing happening. And there was sparks and fireballs falling all over the place and it was shooting across the highway. <laughs> you know, I don't know, maybe it's me, but, you know, when shit like that happens, aren't you supposed to, like, take precautions and make sure that everybody's safe? Um, I didn't see a fire truck anywhere. Um, it was just a bad scene, man, and that's been happening lately. Um, I'm not sure if the number of trucks that have um, approached that uh, problem that blew up that had fires on the turnpike or cars or whatever, but I'm thinking that maybe, you know, I could be wrong, but maybe um, these trucks are driving too long and they're not taking breaks and with the hot hot temperatures and with them running the air conditioning is making the trucks overheat and they just keep going because they got deadlines to hit and the trucks overheat and that's what causes fires um, because they are loaded up with tons of fuel uh, diesel fuel and you know I don't know but it is kind of a, um, a dangerous uh, job and I'm hoping that you know the driver is safe I didn't hear anything about the driver I'm not sure if he got out or God forbid you know, whatever, but um, I thought some prayers go out to him if God forbid something did happen. And, uh, you know, let's hope that he's safe. Um, you know, that was bad. That was terrible. Um, and, you know, to be on the turnpike right there to see that stuck is even worse because you don't know what's going to happen, you know. Um, Anything can happen out there. I mean, I've, I used to drive a turnpike all the time, and um, it was bad a lot. There was always shit going. There was always something happening. Um, I think that maybe they need to really um, look at this turnpike and, you know, lower the, the uh, speed limit. The speed limit 65 in certain areas. Um, I understand that it's a, you know, a confined space and it's you know you can do 65 but uh, you know I think that, that that might be the problem and you know I don't know accidents and, and other stuff like that is, is issues and um, you know maybe they need to do something the DOT um, I don't know I'm not a, a administrator of the Department of Transportation but you know something's got to be done or that the, you know um, the, you know, the turnpike authority needs to do something, and, you know, I don't know, or the, the truckers that they need to um, write into law that they need to maybe lower the, the travel time, um, you know, between shifts, um, you know, that needs to, that they need to not drive as fast as they do, or, um, you know, to do, to do, maybe drive only six hours or five hours or something like that. You know, even though it's going to take longer, but it's somebody's life you're talking about. That that, that, that might even be better. Uh, I'm not really sure how they would work that out, but um, I, I'm, uh, I'm thinking that that would be a good idea. Something's got to be done because it's a dangerous situation. Um, even the, the, the passerbyers um, driving or, you know, that could have caused, you know, accidents you know, major accidents, stopping short, somebody don't realize it, not paying attention behind it, they smash into you, and then it causes a chain reaction. 
Um, you know, it could be anything that could be possible. Uh, uh, you know, anything's possible. Um, you can't. Um, ah, it's the word I'm looking for. You can't rule anything out in this situation when you're driving. Anything's possible. Anything can happen at any time, anywhere. Um, you know, you got to be careful. Uh, driving is a responsibility. And, you know, there's a lot of drunk drivers out there. And, you know, 24-7. Or people that just don't know what they're doing. You know, drivers drive like shit all over the place. And, you know, um, they drive like they, you know, they're the only ones that they're on the road and they're driving like, um, you know, they're in the desert where they're not going to hit nothing. <laughs> yeah. and, and, you know, it gets, it, it's bad. It's totally bad. Um, so if anybody wants to give the Italian voice a call, we're taking calls until 1.30. Um, give us a call. 347-426-3972. Uh, get live. I mean, you know, it's great. Um, unless, if I don't get a call by, say, 1 o'clock, I'll just uh, end the show 1 instead of 1.30. Uh, it's kind of hard to talk to yourself. Uh, you know, without anybody, without anybody to bounce off of, uh, conversation-wise, <laughs> and uh, you know, it's um, it's definitely difficult. Um, you know, I'd like to have quarters because it, you know, it, it makes the show go by faster, and you know, it is a little easier to have a better conversation with whoever you're talking to on about whatever subject. Um, so, yeah, so we'll give it a couple more minutes, and if um, I don't get any calls within 10 minutes, then I'll uh, just shut the show down. So I'll give it 10 more minutes um, instead of the 1.30. It's kind of, uh, if I get a caller within uh, the next 10 minutes, we'll, um, you know, we'll have, um, we'll go to 1.30. Uh, but if not, we'll end the show at 1. Uh, I'd like to get some... Uh, People to check out my uh, what's it called? My campaign going on Facebook, and I'm um, what's it called on um, Teespring.com. So check that out. Get over there and um, make a contribution. Buy a T-shirt that you'll have forever. Um, and the movie's not even filmed or out yet, so it's it's definitely a really cool collector's item. Um, for those of you that tuned in maybe late. I'm also selling this uh, Toxic Avenger VHS Director's Cut. It's got everything in there. There's nothing taken out of it. Uh, $45 I'm selling it for, and I also autographed it. Um, DJ Calvito, and I put Skippy on it. So check that out. And uh, hit me up on Facebook and um, Dom Cal at Dominic Calvito, and or uh, just inbox me, and I'll get the message, and uh, we'll, we'll talk back and forth, and we'll get this shipped out to you. Um, the $45 includes the shipping and handling. Um, I'm also selling that awesome uh, autographed uh, poster behind me, as you can see on the wall, for $155. Uh, it's autographed by, uh, by myself, Lloyd Kaufman, the creator of The Toxic Avenger, and also by Michael Hurz, who's the director and producer um, of The Toxic Avenger, the creators. Pro trauma. Um, so get over there, check that out, and we'll um, get it. Whatever you want to uh, purchase, that will get shipped to you right away. Same day, um, I have PayPal, so you can make the payment. As soon as I see the payment um, post, I go to the post office, and you'll get it within a couple days, depending on where you live. Um, you know, I have those posters in my group, Dom Cal Productions, in on Facebook, and I also have it in my group. Um, the Italian Voice Radio Show. So check that out and get there and make sure that, you know, if you do want to get something from me uh, pertaining to the Toxic Avenger, I also have uh, autographed pictures. Let me show you. I also have autographed pictures for sale that I, um, I take to conventions and I also um, sell online on Facebook. And I've been selling a lot of them, actually. 
Um, here's one of them. This is one of these. This is funny because <laughs> this is the one that, um, this is one of them that, um, as you can see it, yeah. This is the one when the car's coming at me when I'm laying after I got hit the first time and I rolled over the car. This one is actually um, when the car's coming at me and I'm screaming and I actually, you know, uh, ah, I'm really getting scared. This one is when the car is coming towards me when I first, uh, before I got hit. This is about to me roll over the car. Um, these are all for sale, $30. That includes shipping, handling, and autograph. Um, Let's see what other ones I got here. I got a lot of them. Uh, these are the ones I sell at the conventions. So if you want to go to the conventions, I'm going to be at Comic Con on um, September 12th in Newark, New Jersey at the Robert Treat Hotel. I'll be there. Um, so you can come and check that out. Uh, this one's when after the, the aftermath of me getting hit, as you can see, the bike is all uh, scot shot. And that's me laying there and the girls that were in the car taking pictures of me. Um, that took like um, forever to film because of the, as you can see, the, the makeup. Uh, they had to really mess up my whole head, um, make it look like it was crushed. Um, so, yeah, so I got a lot of pictures. I got one. This is the one when I first was taken off on the bike. Um, and they um, took a picture of that. They can catch them. Uh, cool pictures. Um, so, yeah, so if you want any of these pictures that I'm showing you right now, um, you know, I um, have them for sale, $30. Hit me up on Facebook, and I'll get one to you, PayPal. He's always my friend. Uh, so, yeah, so I'd like to get rid of some of these pictures. As you can see, i got a lot of them left. Um, you know, so I don't have um, a problem selling them, and I can always get more made, so that's not a problem. Um, give me a call on um, the Italian boys, 347-426-3972. If you're interested in any of this, um, stuff I showed you, we can uh, get that out to you uh, right away. And like I said, I'll say it again, this is 45. Um, the, the, the poster is $155 and the uh, autographs are uh, $30. So just make sure that if you want anything, let me know and subscribe and um, like my page, um, my YouTube channel subscribe to that and um, make sure that if you do um, want anything hit me up and we'll get it out to you like I said um, yeah so like I was saying you know there's a, there's a lot of um, work that goes into these shows and um, putting everything together you know but I've been doing it for a year so it's kind of like you know it's good you know but um, it's right away but they all also another problem that you can run into technical problems and you run into um, issues with, you know, the commercials that you take and, you know, the, the, the little breaks you take and it's an issue. I um, also have issues with the callers sometimes, and, you know, like sometimes you get callers that are, um, you know, scotch shot in the head and they don't, <laughs> don't want to, you know, they don't have um, anything nice to say and sometimes I got to flip out on them or I just hang up. Um, you know, it's a lot of work doing this show. Um, I figured it'd be better for me to do it during the day. Unfortunately, I have no callers today because I understand people are working. Excuse me, but it's um, it's definitely a uh, it's a it's a fun thing to do, you know. Um, so we're also looking for sponsors at the Italian Voice Radio Show. Um, we can also talk about that. If you're looking to sponsor a show and get your business out there over the airwaves that are, this show's heard all over the world, um, we can work out a plan and uh, have you sign a contract if you're involved. If you want to get involved with the Italian Voice and have me plug your business every day when I do my show, um, either it be during the day or at night at 7 o'clock, um, I can plug it two or three times. You can send me um, an email at calvitob at aol.com and I can... Um, you know, you can give me some information on what you want me to say, and uh, I can do that for you, and for a small fee per week. Um, so think about that. If you want to do that, hit me up on Dominic Calvito, um, or leave me an email, calvitob at aol.com, and uh, we'll talk about it. You know, um, I'm reasonable with the pricing. Um, like I said, this is a new year, so I'm trying to change over a lot of things that I'm doing on the show, 
And, um, you know, like I said, if you want to get involved, I have, you know, plenty of um, hands that are um, getting involved. So, like I said, I have my friend Anthony that's going to be joining the show next Tuesday. We're going to be doing a show at night. Uh, I think it's going to be like maybe 6 or 7 o'clock um, till like 8 or 9. I haven't set up the schedule yet for that, but we're going to be doing the show. But I'm going to have a uh, co-host now, so there's going to be a lot more happening with the show. We're going to be doing, like I said before, earlier in the broadcast, um, we're going to be doing a live webcam show um, in the cow in the Corleone compound. Um, we'll see. Well, depends on how things work. Um, you know, he's really gung ho. So if, if he wants to do it that way, I, we can also uh, we can do it that way and work out at it. Um, and we'll also have it on YouTube. We're going to do a live web show and um, get things rolling that way. And I'm looking to get things rolling better this year than I did um, the past year. Um, it was very difficult. I had a lot of different co-hosts, and um, they weren't they weren't bad. But you know what? Sometimes people um, they get spooked, I guess, when they find out they have to help. You know, they have to pay for the show for their time. It's not like it's a lot of money, and it's just that you know if you can't afford it, you got to tell me because I can't have all the artwork I do with all the banners and everything, with all your name and everything, all these banners, and then, you know, I share them and then, you know, put them in videos that I make and everything to promote the show, and then you disappear. So it's kind of like, it's really like a, you know, it's difficult. Um, it takes a lot of time and work and effort to put these shows together, to uh, do the promoting, to do everything by myself. Um, so having a co-host is going to really take a big load off my back and have on my shoulders and have him do a lot of that. Um, you know, you just got to show people how to do it. And once, you know, I taught myself, it's self-explanatory. Um, you know, I'm not one to do a lot of research. I just figure something out that trial and error. It's e actually easier than doing it that way. And keeping things rolling is, you know, my main goal. Um, I'm not stopping. And I'm going to keep going and going and going and trying to keep this show going as best I can. Um, it's something that I never thought I'd do. And, you know, I, I've never had it in my head. But what happened was I was doing a show uh, last year or the year before. And um, from a friend of mine that got, you know, did a couple of radio shows, call-ins. I called in to a couple of shows. And they, you know, it was really cool. And then I was sitting home and I was like, you know what? Why can't I do this? Why shouldn't I do this? Why shouldn't I be on the radio? Why, you know, then I, I checked out Block Talk Radio, and um, I was uh, impressed with the platform, and I was like, all right, let me try. And I tried, and I did it by myself for a while, and, you know, I uh, didn't know how they operated. Um, like I said, I was calling in with the phone, and, um, you know, I was trying to get quarters on, and I didn't know what to hit, and it was like, oh, it was, it was nuts. Um, but then, like I said, you trial and error. You know, you, you have to just teach yourself on a lot of things, and that's the only way to learn. Um, you can't really be, um, you know, you can't, I was plenty of times when I thought I was just going to quit and just get rid of it and not do it again because I just got frustrated, and I was having a lot of problems with it, and then, um, but... Then I just stood up and I was like, you know what, I can't, I can't just um, quit because quitters never prosper. And I wasn't going to, you know, I wasn't going to just quit because you don't know what the turnout will be if you just let it go. And if you quit, you know, for the rest of your life you'll be wondering what would have happened if I would have, um, uh, what's it called, if I, um, what would have happened if I stayed with it was, you know, I don't know what that was. I'm still online here, so I don't know what that was. Um, so anyway, we're going to um, take... I don't know what that was. That beep, beep, beep. Let me just see something. Excuse me. i got to put on my uh, glasses here to see something. Yeah, I wear glasses, so what? What's the big deal, dude? Um, 
That's what happens when you're 43 years old and almost 44. You can't see. Um, all right, I don't see any anything different. I don't even know what that was. Um, this is still recording on YouTube. Um, everything's good with uh, I'm on air. Okay, I don't know what that was. Um, let me see. Yeah, well, connection problem. You kidding me, dude? That's what the fucking problem is. Just excuse me right now. To start your show now, press 1. It appears that the host has already dialed into this show. Only one host is allowed per show. Thank you for using Blog Talk Radio. Goodbye. Oh, boy. I don't know what's going on. I'm still online here, I think. Um, see some. Excuse me. I gotta see what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. It's exactly what I'm saying. I don't even know. I don't even know if I'm still recording here. Hello? Hello? Check, check. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. We're going to end the show right now. I got it. All right. Uh, that just blew my, my whole concentration out. See what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on here with the show. Uh, I don't know if I have have audio, so I'm gonna turn off the. Uh, I'm gonna end the show now, and I'll talk to you guys later. Sorry about that, everyone. I don't know. If, I don't know what's going on. All right, so sorry about that, everyone. I don't know what's going on here. Um, well, end the show now. I'm having technical difficulties as usual, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for stopping by, I guess. Sorry about that. Check you later. Thanks.